So in this lecture, we're going to talk about the patient that presents with a chief complaint of headache. So let's go ahead and get started. As we've done with all chief complaints, the first thing we need to do is construct a critical differential diagnosis. For headache, the critical differential diagnosis is subarachnoid hemorrhage, intracranial mass, meningitis, temporal arteritis, and something ocular, such as acute angle glaucoma. So let's go over how each of these diagnoses present. For subarachnoid hemorrhage, the patient will present with sudden onset headache, and the headache will be the worst headache of his or her life. For patients with an intracranial mass, they may have a headache that's worse in the morning and gets better throughout the day. Patients with meningitis will present with fever and meningismus. and in really bad cases, altered mental status. Patients with temporal arteritis may have tenderness over the temporal artery. For acute angle glaucoma, the patient may complain of visual changes. Notice on our critical differential diagnosis, we did not include migraines. Migraines are a diagnosis that should be made by a neurologist. If your patient presents with a headache and says that they have a history of a migraine, you want to dig deeper and find out who actually diagnosed them with having a migraine. If it's not a neurologist, you want to be a little skeptical. If the patient has a history of migraine, that was diagnosed by a neurologist and says that their headache is exactly like their prior migraines, it's easier to feel more reassured that they're not having one of these critical diagnoses. So armed with all this information, we can now approach our patient in a very focused way, figuring out whether or not our patient is having a migraine attack or is having one of these critical diagnoses. When you construct your presentation for your attending, you want to make sure that you hit each one of these red flags. For example, the first line of your presentation should address whether or not the patient has a past medical history of migraines and whether or not the onset of the headache was sudden or gradual. The next line can focus on whether or not the headache is worse in the morning and better throughout the day. You can then be sure to include whether or not the patient is having fever or neck stiffness. And on your physical exam, you can discuss whether or not there is temporal artery pain or visual changes. By specifically presenting these red flags, it will convey to your attending that you understand what the critical differential is and what diagnoses you cannot miss. If the patient has any of these red flags, you'd want to pursue a workup. For a patient that you're worried is having a subarachnoid hemorrhage, you'd want to order a CT and consider performing a lumbar puncture. For a patient with a concerning story for an intracranial mass, you'd want to consider either getting a CT or an MRI. Understanding that an MRI is better at detecting intracranial masses. If your patient is having fever, meningismus, and altered mental status, you'd want to emergently get a CT and perform an LP as soon as possible without delaying the initiation of antibiotics. If the patient has a story and physical exam concerning for temporal arteritis, you may want to consider ordering an ESR and CRP. And finally, if you're worried about acute angle glaucoma, measure an intraocular pressure.
So let's say that your patient has a migraine history and comes in with a presentation consistent with their prior migraines. Or let's say that your patient has a history that is inconsistent with any of the critical differential diagnoses that you evaluated the patient for. You've made the determination that the cause of the headache is from a benign cause. So let's go ahead and treat our patient. Generally, we like to give our patient a migraine cocktail, which consists of Benadryl, Reglan, or Compazine, one liter of normal saline, Toradol, if they have no history of CKD, and some people like to give Tylenol as well. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of a framework as to how to approach a patient with a chief complaint of headache. Headaches are a really complicated topic, and there are many different causes for why people can actually have a headache. So this lecture is best used as a primer as to how to approach and treat a patient with a chief complaint of headache.